art has been so central to freedom struggles. What artists can do is they can present us with new ideas and new stories that move us, that awaken us, that challenge us. The ancestors are saying to me, don't forget us. Visual representations are strong. They're the harbingers of change, I believe. It's been really powerful to watch the expansion of audiences and embrace by cultural institutions of art that address really critical social issues, political issues, and racial justice issues like mass incarceration. We've seen more and more exhibitions that are addressing these issues. My art is just to bring about awareness to the disenfranchised, to uh, people that society has forgotten, to the prisoner population, which is over two million people, which is totally unacceptable in a democratic-based society. It's very thoughtful, very deliberate in how he engages with abstract painting. I use lino cuts. They're repetitive, and I use them because they're made of rubber, and I want to drive home the fact that we're rubber stamped into prison repeatedly. Marking Time the Exhibition consists of about 40 artists and two-thirds of them are currently a formerly incarcerated artist. They've been doing work for years that investigates the impact of surveillance, criminalization, and imprisonment largely on communities of color, poor white communities. Undoing Time is an exhibition that invites 12 artists to consider the history of images of incarcerated people or incarceration and think about what is not shown or why certain images are shown and contribute to that canon. My piece for Undoing Time is called Personal, Small, Medium, Large Family, and it is an installation based on uh, the local pizza parlor I grew up going to as a child, and even now I still go to the same pizza parlor. The pizza parlor trope or the installation is a kind of filter for me to tell my friend Richard's uh, story. My friend Richard was uh, convicted of murder when he was 16 years old and spent 32 years of his life incarcerated I think of my work in alignment with prison abolition because I, I want to think and be part of the conversation of that. We need a new way of making, of doing, of creating in communities in society that is not prisons. This exhibition was formed in a community of people that Art for Justice brought together. Artists, activists, leaders in the movement, who were able to side by side with us join in a movement to change our world for the better without mass incarceration in it. A group of artists recently had a show at the Mark Toast Gallery and, and they call themselves The Collective. You just have a community of other artists that understand your, your struggles. It creates a foundation for us to express what we've been through, what other people have been through, to be able to um, reach back to those left behind, to let them know, you know, there's hope, um, and to keep dreaming. <laughs>